G'day there mates, <clears throat> my name is Mr. McGillicuddy and welcome back once again to my channel. Today, we will be continuing the story of God of War, Ragnarok. So in the last episode, after a bit of a rough train ride, we made our way down to the mines where hopefully we'll find here. And, well, we started our descent. Other than that, that would be great, how much happened. Except the train is always forcing the point of, of war. <clears throat> But then again, you're still young, so you wouldn't understand the horrors of it. Anyway, and of my rambling, let's just get started, shall we? Now, that being said, this is still following a lot from the Norse mythology, with some twists here and there. And Loki is apparently the god of mischief, actually he is, in Norse mythology. So, what would Tra Atreus get out of this? Is he just being mischievous for the hell of it? Or is this just being ignorant? What do you guys think? Okay, so nothing here. I'm going down this way then. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I know you said not to, but I can't stop thinking about this. We spend all of our time fighting bad stuff, and I don't get why we can't do that alongside Tyr. You do not know him. We saw his shrines. He's a leader. He stood up to Odin when no one else would. If he's done it before, why wouldn't he do it again? Images from long ago do not tell a whole story. Kratos does have a point. Sometimes history can be muddled. There's a door. Once we get off this, let's check there for Tyr. It's gotta be close. More of that. I can't help but feel like you're angry with me or something. Ever since we got to Sparto Farm, you've been critical of my every move. If you don't think I can lead us, just say so. It is not your competence that is in question. Okay, but what does that mean? Consider your intent. This place the, is huge. The apple core. It must have taken ages to build. <clears throat> uh, about what he said, his intent. Is he doing it because it's the right thing? Well, another door. because he's just looking for another fight. We're on our own here. Your question from before, about my intent. I intend to help the God of War stop Odin. And that means freeing him from whatever prison he's in right now. Brace yourselves, friends. Sindri? Oh. And be careful exiting that thing. One foot at a time, there are loose rusty nails everywhere. Have you seen any signs of tear? As if I would navigate this maze of running sewage. No, I'm sure you'll manage that on your own. Thanks. The water looks pretty clear here. Keyword looks. <laughs> That's a <her> point. <clears throat> it may look fine, but not always on the surface. You seem to have left that behind. Oh god, yeah. How can I help? Let's see. Uh how's knocking Stun Blast. Okay, let's give it a go. I've not created a cut through the air with these. Its previous owner lost it to a game of lies dies. I have no idea what that is. Then again, I'm pretty ignorant. Fire's actually a disinfectant, so these are very hygienic. <laughs> yeah, but the case, but the flames themselves, not so much. Plus, again, Chris did say they were covering blood, so not very hygienic. Ooh. Let's give this a go. Handles crafted for those who will defend their brethren from ranged attacks. Lightweight but bounce to help the blades blades swing 
with brutal force. Alright, let's give this a go, Dad. I just have to remember to use that when projectiles on the incoming. Alright, I said we upgrade this a bit because we probably are due for one. May it strike true. Thanks, Sentry. Honed metal. Well, we don't have any of that. Uh, can we make any more armor? Is the I'll the forge. No, but uh, we can upgrade this. Huh. That might be my best piece yet today. Glad you approve. Dwarven steel. Don't have any of that. Um. Okay. What if I husk? Uh. Okay. Arm guards. I'm gonna go for. Yeah, no, not at the moment. We'll stick with. Ah, no hacks over. Never mind. Uh, right. Before I do forget. Want something in particular? God damn it. Take care of your armor, and it'll take care of you. I will. Just gotta be careful. All right, we need to find a way. There's a door just across this gap. Tear could be right there. Could be anywhere. What's this? Whoever wrote this certainly had an eye for detail. Um, the vault. Don't know what to tell you. Not everything's got a thrilling story behind it. Sometimes people just label things exactly what they are. Bolt Vista. Okay. The water flows block. Yeah. Atreus. Sounds like you got the water moving along, brother. What next? That's the question. I don't think I can turn it. But I can probably freeze it. There we go. Water's overflowing where you froze that trough. That's helpful. Yeah, but it's not in the right place. That worked. Let's get to the door. Come on. Alright, never got to pick up here by the looks. But uh, after watching Jack's after college videos, I should just actually destroy everything here because. Yeah, hack silver and everything. Well, and some stuff. Alright, let's get this door open. Tear? Well, I certainly don't think this is where Tear currently is. He He's got to be here somewhere. This mine is huge. Atreus, what do you intend to stop Odin from doing? You speak as if you know his plan. I don't know his plan. That's why we're... Ahem. Brothers, with Fimble Winter underway and Ragnarok around the corner, Odin will be desperate. Whatever he's planning to do surely won't be to the benefit of anyone but himself. Exactly. Hmm. More forts on. Okay, not everything can be broken. And I don't have time to keep swinging at everything. That's a lot of maybes.
Hold up, Atreus. Yeah. What's it say, brother? Cooperation. We built this realm with our dwarven hands, reinforced it with dwarven muscle, innovated with our dwarven minds, but we no longer have to do it alone. Our strength and ingenuity has finally found an equal in the eighth year of Asgard. Now dwarven smiths will work hand in hand with Aesir soldiers and engineers. Now Aesir bats will share the burden with their dwarven brethren, lighting the load for us. It was dwarves who made the swamp pine, but it is. But together with the Aesir, we can make it into something even better. Full <sighs> naive fool. <laughs> and let's have a look. Uh, did you see that over there? I see that, but I can't hit it. There's a broken door up to the left behind this crane. Maybe Tyr tried to escape. We should look. Stop making such hard assumptions, Atreus. And set your expectations low. That way, you won't be as disappointed when you don't get what you need or want. Well, now all we know is that it could be in his mind somewhere. Well, there's something else important here. So let's just stick to that there is something important in these minds. Let's just see some. No, no, it's just the uh, markings. Lined up. There's another one over there. The question is, how we're gonna get over there? Okay, so how are we going to get... I don't think there's anything we can do with this anymore. So what can we do?
Actually, I've got an idea. That's it. Come on. Let's take that lift up. You can't be far. You haven't set your expectations low. Okay, new exercise. Let's think about how Tyr's probably feeling locked up in this mine. If I were imprisoned by Odin and finally freed, Odin would obviously be at the top of my list. But I would just want to fight something. Anything. Even if it was just to know I still could. He's really got his head focused on war. Not a good sign. Dear? Oh, what happened here? That's a good question. They certainly weren't here. Best look around. More hacks over. Did something drop here? What's something else happen? This dwarf didn't make it out. Is that a relic? Huh. Relic applied. Relic provides a special ability that activates with L1 plus circle. Equip the relic in the weapon screen. All right. Talisman of Maggie. Talisman so precious is a priest. Talisman so precious that the priest owner, they held it close until the last moments. Would they have survived if they had dropped this? Hmm. So basically, we're a lot stronger. Not doing well. Uh. Uh, let's check out that whole nudge in the wall there. Feel a breeze. You might be able to get out of here this way. Another empty vault. Ahem. Little brother. Perhaps it's time no, we don't even say it. We're gonna find him. <sighs> Stubborn. Look, another door on the other side of the cavern. Let's go. I think he's so focused on being Loki, so he's got to be a trace as well. Off the boat by Sindri. This mine is one enormous spiral. Let's say that again. 
Because we've got a way back up this way. There's one of those doors from before. You hear that? There's one of those these ravens. I think I can hear something in there. A statue. Not just any statue. That stony visage hung over the entrance to the world mill. What world mill? Duran stone statue. Duran the generous built the world mill over the course of decades. He saw a future in which Swaltenheim was a lush and veteran vendrant as the most overgrown field in Vanaheim. And the world mill was the first step towards that future. He sold fertile, high quality soil to the other dwarves and poured all the proceeds into keeping the world mill running. When holding over this miraculous machine and the independence it might one day grant Solvenheim, he offered Durin gold beyond measure to destroy it. Durin refused. Odin wanted to bring the whole structure down, of course, but I convinced him to steady his hand. Instead, Asgard simply made their own world mill. We sold our own soul to the dwarves at prices Durin couldn't possibly match. He couldn't afford the upkeep on his miraculous machine, and so it fell into despair. Once Durin's world mill broke, Odin destroyed Asgard's as well. Durin took his own life shortly thereafter. And that is the story of our Swanheim almost getting dependence. Damn you, Odin. Not by doing the generous. The hateful. I forgot that was a red one. Didn't see that. Yeah, it was the same one actually. Sovereign calls. Nest of realms. Speaking of which, didn't we hear a raven in here? Chaos spark. Ah, that's right. I forgot about those. Largely abandoned. It is unlikely. Here's here. I know it. Derlin's direction stopped at the entrance to the mine. We just have to keep searching until we find him. You said you follow my lead, and I say we keep looking. So knock it off. Watch yourself. I will follow, but I state what I see. You do not agree with me, but you will not speak to me this way. Are we clear? Sir. Of course, I thought there would have been the raven in here. I think it must have been outside of her. That so let's head back out. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's down there. Sadly, we can't get in there. And I don't see any way to get through there in that way, so we might have to go around. Like we'll have to get to it first. Yeah. Alright, let's see what each of these mechanical wonders can do. Okay, we got that one there. Thinking and looking. Let's keep looking around. There's got to be something else. I'm sure there is a trash. Just shush. Hmm. There's got to be a way we can hold that in place. Trace, what are you looking at? Quite across. Look for another way. I think I see a crank over here. Careful. Atreus. Another mental exercise. Would one who spends their life fighting, such as Tyr, have any desire to prove themselves? The proof leaves a wake of destruction. But if the wake of destruction is a bunch of bad guys. Why does that matter? You're strong, and you did the right thing. War does not measure the strength of a man. I hope one day you understand. Okay, it looks like this machine is dropping ore into the water trough. Hmm. Again. It's gotta be it. No. There we go. Nicely done, Atreus. Ed, hello? This could be it. Hold up, Atreus. Damn it! Did you hear that, brothers? I don't think we're alone. Ears open. Eyes up. Now, yeah, hood scraping. And that wasn't from the door either. Leading out. Atreus, do my words irritate you? It's fine. I get it. Brothers. Wait. Is that light up ahead there? Hey, this might be it. That door's barred. They must be trying to keep something in. You don't lock a door like that to secure the spare bed clothes. I see what we must do. 
Let me try this. Boss one. Nope. We're gonna try. Bifrost attacks. And a jar can inflict Bifrost on the health bar. Bifrost heals over time, but follow but follow-up hits can detonate for extra damage. That's my <sighs> Okay. Asgard's finest. A warrior of Midgard wants nothing more than to fall in battle. It will ensure passage to Valhalla, a promised land where the honorable and wretched alike are sent. There, Odin selected the best and gave them a chance to die for him, thus creating the NHR. Its diabolically genius if one would like to view it that way. And still another diversion with an unbloodthirsty group of undead killers, and you you guarantee yourself a near endless supply of fodder for your war. Can't damn fly. See what's behind this door. That's one way to bring a door down. Play with me now. We're not with Odin. We're the good guys. Blades. I know you. God killer. Have you come for me now? Only to free you. Stay away. Brother, let me try. Tia. Tia. Look. You know me, don't you? You... You killed Mimir! No! No! No, no, no! Yeah, we, we brought him right back! Yeah! Stay away from me! You monsters! Stop! We need him! Wait! Ah! 
Oh dear. Oh, my God. We'll on our own again. Damn it, Atreus. Let's get after him. So it can break that, just the other one won't break because it was meant for Tia. I see him. Any bone frost they got on you will detonate next time you're hit, unless you stay on damage until it dis dissipates, which wouldn't be my humble recommendation. I would think so. This way. Cut him off. Been haunted. Oh, How do you more fit in title than brute? Although perhaps anticipate <sighs> applicable to more than one rank one rank of Odin soldiers. If memory serves, this title was granted if a newly incarn incarnate ancient rank complete some feat or other. Once I heard, it was accomplished by wearing the jaws of ten enemies that had been ripped from their owners' heads. With their bare hands. Jeez. Right, Atreus. What was that? Health. What the heck? Or I'm out of later. Safe, away from you. Odin. Show mercy. This is my father. We help people. I don't belong out here, please. It's worse when he's angry. Father! Are you not a soldier? Are you not a leader of men? Master yourself! My son brought us to this place. For you! Look at him! You. Why? You don't know me. I know what you stood for. You helped the giants. We're returning the favor. We? We are leaving. Are you coming with us? Maybe that woke him up. Jesus. He's taller than I thought. Here. Your statue in the lake. You had a spear. I thought you needed a weapon. Walking stick? No. A kind thought, but no. Thank you, no. But... 
Okay. I, uh, I, I ran because I don't always know what's real. Sometimes there's a... There's no shame in that, brother. We live in strange times. Everyone hears him talk? Yep. We must return home. All right, big guy. Shut up, sign. Can you feel that? A wind blowing from over here. Maybe there's an exit nearby. Are there names by which I should call? <laughs> I'm afraid. You already know Mir, and that's my father, Kratos. How does the son of a Spartan come to speak for the Jotnar? My mother was the last giant in Midgard. Laufey? Laufey. I remember that name. She tried to help people, too. She's in the light of Alpha now. You have my sympathies. I think he just needs some time to recompose himself. He's been tortured a lot because of Odin. So he doesn't have his head. Are you okay? These are just much stronger. Sitting down. I guess you haven't been standing for a long time. Please, let me get that. It's the least I can do. Jesus! Strength of a giant. Good Christ. Why risk Odin's wrath to free me? Well, Ragnarok is coming. I hope you knew that. We thought you'd want to help. You freed me only to start a war? No! Um... Um... Zotia, it's good to see you in the flesh again. Namir, what's become of you? Following in your footsteps. Betrayal, indefinite imprisonment, execrable torture at the hands of the Old Father. You didn't deserve such treatment. Did you? I will say my view is a touch better than yours. We found him at the top of a mountain with tree roots wrapped all around him. The only way to free him was to... Well, that. Highly pleasant. For all parties involved. <laughs> ah. You okay? The light. It's... It's been so long. There's an outcropping just ahead. The shade will make it easier on your eyes. Come on. You said Ragnarok is coming. It's Balder. Balder is dead. Odin sent him to track down a giant in Midgard. And then he found Kratos and... Anyway, I'd promised to take these two to the tallest peak in the realms if they'd chop off my head and convince Freya to bring it back. Amir. Speak of Balder. Watch out! Oh. No, 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 no. It's okay. Got you. Get out of here. Looks like a trace is that keeping him safe. Hey. <laughs> Holy heck, that buzz one. <laughs> I'm loving this. Didn't do it in time. Get out of the poison. Great stone, thank you. So he knew that Kratos had spawned him. Come, we must leave before.
before more creatures attack. You should have taken the spear. Defended yourself. No. I've abjured all violence. But you're the god of war. I left that behind long ago. If Odin starts Ragnarok, you really wouldn't fight? Not even if I wish to. I guess. After all he's been through, all he's seen, enough was enough. Before we go any further, the truth. What is it you want from me? You speak of Ragnarok. Is it a god of war you came to find? Is that the tear you need? Atreus. I... Forgive me. That I am grateful for my freedom. But if you want me to follow you to war... Or worse yet, lead you to it... Then kill me. Fight is gone. Damage is done. No one's killing you, brother. Better that than to live to see Ragnarok. We do not seek war. We just want some answers. <laughs> I don't know how to help you. It doesn't matter. The Giants trusted you. That's the tear we need. We need you. All right. All I ask is for a good night's rest. And maybe some food. I think you killed the guards bringing me down. Perhaps now you'd like to finish the story? Uh, the sons of Thor attacked us. We killed them. Baldwin tried to kill Freya. I killed him. But you skipped over how he fought and freed the Valkyries. And that the giants are all gone. And now they called me Loki. Finding the shrines. The giants and... are gone. When we got to Yelton, they were all dead. Yeah. Do you think Odin? We do not know. I think we're getting out of here not a moment too soon. Whoa, what are those? Reinforcements from Asgard. The Ainuriara will want to investigate my disappearance thoroughly. Let's get moving. Are they using the sky to travel between realms? Odin's got tricks up his sleeve we haven't dared to consider. They're coming down on neither Valir too. Will the dwarves be okay? The time for such concerns has passed. We must leave. Now. Health, thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not good, not good, not good. There's a gate. Let's get this thing open. One, one. All right. Let's have a quick read. I'm running short on time, but I'll still do it. <clears throat> of the myths and legends Mimir has unfolded to us, none have been so inspired as none. Have, <coughs> none have so inspired the trainers to the life of Tyr. Once the god of war in these lands, he dedicated himself to peace. A hero not only to mortals of Midgard, but to those of far-off lands of other pantheons, to which he travelled in the name of diplomacy. Even the Jotnar revered him. It is believed he aid, his aid is what the, made the giants disappear, escaping Odin's wrath, at least for a time. I am not certain he will prove as useful to us as Atreus' hope. 
either as a leader or as a source of information. So perhaps with patience, he will recover himself. Most importantly, he seeks neither war nor revenge for the suffering visited upon him. In this, I am grateful. I think that would be probably for the best. A treehouse. Lord Tear. You're really alive. Am I? I wonder. Okay. He's just tired. I promised him some food and a room to rest in. Ah, uh, of course you did. Well, let's see what we can do. Please, come inside. Uh, we'll be right in. <laughs> I'll be. So you wanted to talk about it, Trace? No? Well, in that case, that's going to be it for today's episode. We... I did not think we were actually right here in this episode. But, nevertheless, this has been wonderful. We finally met here, even though he wasn't himself anymore. But sometimes, and it's not always a bad thing, sometimes I think he just need a, he needs to find that fire in him again. But not wanting to seek revenge, as Kratos said, he's grateful. Because revenge, he knows that all too well. Poor guy. Speaking of revenge, I think some of the older, the first Street to God of War games have been released on PlayStation. If they are, I will have a chance to try and do it on my channel. But we'll have to see about that because of the new premier at servers. But that's a story I'm not going to talk about. So anyway, that's going to have to do it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, please remember to hit that like button. Also, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and show support for the channel. I would very much appreciate that. And with that all being said, I'm going to get that going. Thank you all again, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Try to save the other people. Bye-bye. Take care. And have a good time. <coughs>